Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Ted Bear Beats channel. In this video, we're going to count down the top nine best-selling rap albums of all time. Number nine, it's Eminem, Curtain Call the Hits 2005. This compilation album by the Detroit rapper featured some of his most popular songs from his first four albums, such as My Name Is, The Real Slim Shady, Stan, and Lose Yourself. It also included four new tracks, including When I'm Gone and Shake That. The album sold over 10 million copies and was the best-selling album of 2005. Number 8, Beastie Boys, License to Ill, 1986. This debut album by the New York Trio was the first rap album to top the Billboard 200 chart. It was also one of the first rap albums to cross over to mainstream rock audiences, thanks to its heavy use of samples from Led Zeppelin, ACDC, and Black Sabbath. The album featured classic tracks like You Gotta Fight For Your Right to Party, No Sleep Till Brooklyn, and Brass Monkey. The album sold over 10 million copies and is considered a landmark in hip-hop history. Number 7. Tupac's Greatest Hits that came out in 1998. It was a special album because it was made after the rapper Tupac passed away. The album had some really famous songs from his career like California Love, Dear Mama, Hail Mary, and Changes. It also had four songs that were never released before like God Bless the Dead and Unconditional Love. A lot of people liked this album and bought more than 10 million copies of it. It made Tupac even more famous and showed everyone that he was one of the best rappers ever. Number 6. Again It's Tupac's All Eyes On Me, 1996. This double album by the West Coast legend was his first release after signing with Death Row Records. It was also his last album released before his death in September 1996. The album featured guest appearances from Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Nate Dogg, and more. It also spawned several hit singles, such as How Do You Want It, I Ain't Mad At, and Two of America's Most Wanted. The album sold over 10 million copies and is widely regarded as one of the best rap albums ever made. Number 5. Lauryn Hill. The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, 1998. This debut solo album by the former Fugees member was a groundbreaking work that blended hip-hop, soul, reggae, and R&B. It showcased Hill's skills as a rapper, singer, songwriter, and producer. The album featured guest appearances from D'Angelo, Mary J. Blige, Carlos Santana, and more. It also spawned several hit singles, such as Doo Wop, That Thing, X Factor, and Everything Is Everything. The album sold over 10 million copies and won five Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. Number 4. Nelly, Country Grammar, 2000. This debut album by the St. Louis rapper introduced his unique style of blending rap with pop hooks and country influences. It also put his hometown on the map as a hip-hop hotspot. The album featured guest appearances from Lil Wayne, Cedric the Entertainer, Murphy Lee, and more. It also spawned several hit singles such as Country Grammar, EI, Ride With Me, and Batter Up. The album sold over 10 million copies and was one of the best-selling albums of the decade. Number 3, Eminem, The Marshall Mathers LP, 2000. This third album by the Detroit rapper was his most controversial and successful work to date. It featured some of his most personal and provocative songs, such as The Way I Am, The Real Slim Shady, Stan, and Kim. It also featured guest appearances from Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Dido, and more. The album sold over 11 million copies and won the Grammy for Best Rap Album. Number 2. Again, it's Eminem with The Eminem Show, 2002. This fourth album by the Detroit rapper was his most mature and diverse work to date. It featured some of his most introspective and political songs, such as White America, Cleaning Out My Closet, Sing For The Moment, and Lose Yourself. It also featured guest appearances from Dr. Dre, Nate Dogg, D12, and more. The album sold over 12 million copies and won the Grammy for Best Rap Album. And number one, Outkast, Speaker Box, The Love Below, 2003. This double album by the Atlanta duo was their most ambitious and creative work to date. It featured two separate solo albums, 
with Big Boy's Speaker Box delivering hard-hitting Southern rap and Andre 3000's The Love Below exploring funk, soul, and pop influences. The album spawned the mega hit Hey Ya, which topped the Billboard Hot 100 for nine weeks. The album sold over 11 million copies and won the Grammy for Album of the Year. Thanks for watching Ted Bear Beats. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tight beats and fascinating rap facts. Stay tuned for future uploads and join our community of music lovers. See you next time.